Today I'd like to review a novel written by a Japanese author, um, Natsume Soseki. The title of this book is San Shiro. This was written in 1908. It was actually published in a Japanese newspaper as a serial, I think, Asahi Shimbun, which is still which is still a major newspaper um, even now in Japan. Um, so the book is set in 1908, towards the end of the Meiji, uh, Meiji era in Japan, which is one of major upheaval because um, there was kind of a rush to modernize or westernize uh, Japan um, and bring them up to date with, um, I guess, modernization. So the main character of this book, Sanshiro, is a 23-year-old country boy who's just moved to Tokyo um, to attend school, and um, basically it's his, you know, introduction to the real world or the modern world of of Tokyo and his struggles between um, the traditional life and the new modern life of Japan, and not not just in technology, but also in moral values and um, the way the university functions and the way women carry themselves and the way especially women have changed and of course the value of money and things like that uh, provides a real challenge for him and it's an excellent social commentary on something that really rocked Japan um, and had the potential to unmoor the country um, from their cultural roots, so Japanese literature, modern Japanese literature, is rife with you know issues stemming from <laughs> the Meiji period and um, the problems between um, trying to you know connect with Western civilization while still being able to keep you know stay true to your roots. So in that sense, um, the book is really interesting. However, it's like a lot of Japanese literature from the time in that not much happens. There's kind of a plot, but not really, and it's a little bit slow moving. Um, but if you look at it as a window into the past and, you know, on thoughts and views of the people living then and, you know, issues of people who had to, you know, live through this sort of you know, difficult time, uh, this time of changes, then it's a very valuable read. And there, it's part, it's the first of a trilogy. It's followed by um, two books, uh, Sorekara, which means and then, and Mon, which means gate. Um, so I would like to read these in the future. I've had a lot of recommendations from my uh, Japanese coworkers and students. So uh, I will be reading those in the future. Not just yet. Uh, I have a hard time, you know, really getting into Japanese literature. So I kind of have to be into the mind, into the mindset for it. Um, so yeah. But it was fantastic. Uh, slow going, but really interesting. Um, so yes, if you like to read um, a you know good piece of Japanese literature, this is one uh, one good choice. And maybe later I'm actually planning on doing a video recommending some uh, good Japanese literature authors that I have experienced. So you can look forward to that. I don't have a time frame yet though, but yeah. If you've read it, I'd really love to hear any thoughts you've had on it. Um, or if you're looking to read it but you have any questions, you know, please feel free to ask me. I don't know how well I can answer them, but I've read a couple articles on it and, you know, things like that. So maybe. Anyways, see you.